how to wash your vagina um in this video i'm going to be telling you how to wash your vagina okay um it's not a shameful thing i didn't know how to wash this thing because until i entered nursing school and you know during mch they started teaching us this thing so it's not a shameful thing i didn't know if not that i was a nurse i did i wouldn't even know so just listen attentively you have to send this video to your loved ones your daughter your um wife and every everybody okay so first of all you don't wash your vagina you wash your vulva now these things are two different things when i didn't know this i used to have your current yeast infection okay i used to have yeast infection because i wash that place okay so now and anybody that tells you you don't wash your vulva is a lie from pit of hell these are two different things vagina and vulva okay and they require their care so this video is basically about how to take care of your vulva and your vagina these two places i'll tell you how to take care of them so we'll start with the vulva which is the place you wash the vulva is the outer i'm going to be using pictures hopefully tiktok doesn't block this video if it does block it you can watch it on my youtube page the vulva is different from the vagina okay the vulva is the outer part it consists of your your clitoris the labia majora that the lips then you know the lips all those parts so the part you wash is the lips your clitoris the edges those fold your most boobies those places that there is hairs okay then your anus that's just all that side okay that's where you wash and you wash it with mild soap and water now there's been a misconception people will tell you to wash it with only water no if you wash it with only water you will get infection why because you urinate now this urine this um urine has lots of microorganisms okay they paste around that your skin that place if you wash it with only water the microorganisms will still be there you know after going to the toilet you wash with soap so that the thing will go out very well if you wash only with water it will still go be there and it will be giving you infection so you wash with mild soap like maybe a logs you know or there are some gynecological proving femme um, wash okay you can use them but not do not put it inside the, the vagina now is inside that hole that your man puts you know the penis in that is where your vagina is it is not um the outside the outside is your vulva which is the part that you wash with soap and water now this is how you care for your vulva you wash it with soap and water mild soap then wash the hairs then the anal part okay now you have to also trim those pubic hairs those pubic hairs is another way that infection traps okay they will tell you anybody that t tells you not to trim or shave leave shaving but trim you have to trim is a life from a pit of hell as a woman you will trim that part if not you will get your current infection you must trim or shave shaving shaves if i say shaving now it's be like you you do skin no not skin you will trim that hair then around that part where the you know vagina is you will now maybe shave it okay so that or depending on your preferences but as long as that caring for that your vulva is concerned you will trim it this is how you care uh, you care for your vulva you have to trim it with scissors or shave if you prefer okay but don't do skin don't shave skin because if you shave skin it does not really give you that protection of sex during sex okay now this is how to care for your vulva let's get to how to care and again if you urinate please make sure you wipe with tissue i'm sorry with you wash your vulva with water after urinating not with tissue this is what is causing infection for most people now i know you will be like how can i start using tissue um water some people are not used to it maybe you went to a public toilet will you start removing all your clothes you know 
and you're in a hurry and all of those things what you do is get a feminine wash wipes the feminine wipes has you know water so because those urine when you use tissue those urine will still patches will still be there in your vulva clitoris and all of those area you know when you wipe it's still there it's still dirty so you just use that feminine wipes you can use baby wipes some baby wipes that are natural they don't have alcohol or scents you can use to clean don't clean inside clean the lips i'm making this very explicit clean the lips okay so when you clean you you are good to go but when you wash with water you can use your towel to damp or tissue or whatever to damp so that water will not stain your legs that is the care for your vulva now let's get to the care for your vagina the vagina is the inside, right? Is the inside of the female reproductive organ. Is the inside where it contains the rugi and all of those. That place you put your sperm and that place, if you put your hand, it enters. Number one care of the vagina is that you should not, on no account, should you put your hand inside that place. Do not put your hand or anything apart from penis inside your vagina and that penis has to be very neat it has to be very neat it's not a penis that you just brought, remove from your mouth that you took inside that place or a penis that they just removed from the anus that you put inside that place i've already explained to you how spit can cause saliva can cause infection for you so you if you're following me you should know by now okay so don't allow anything there apart from the penis that is neat if your hand is going there it has to be neat no scent no tissue or no perfume or any anything now how to care for this i've told you that's number one number two if you're washing your vulva do not wash your vagina don't put water there don't put anything there this is what will cause this for you because when you um you know put all of those things there it's kills the um normal flora okay there are some microorganisms that are good bacteria that are good that protect that place it kills it that soap you are using that um um perfume you are using to make that place smell that uh, scent that uh, you know yoni pearls that you're using to fuel so that to detoxify that place will kill those microorganisms those bacteria that are mild that helps you protect that place that keep that place moist it will kill them and this will cause infection for you and it will always make you dry i hope you're learning so nothing goes inside that place for no reason okay try this infection is a you won't be having all this yama yama infection another way to care for your vagina the foods to eat yogurt vagina likes yogurt so much drink yogurt this um, Greek yogurts that has active cultures in them. Take lots of fruits, vegetable, pineapple, vitamin C will help you a lot, especially if you're not getting wet. Okay. Now, um, try to exercise. Drink lots of water, lots of water. Okay. So these are the things. Again, do not steam your vagina. Don't put anything. Cloves, ginger. All of those things, Maggi, Alum. I've already made a video on how to make you tight if you want to be tight, even if you want to be a virgin. It is on my YouTube, it is here on my YouTube page. You can watch it. Don't put all those things will make you to be become, you know, you want to be wet again. Now, like this video, share, put your question, chat me on my Instagram if you have any question. Okay, I love you all need to put anything there now if you want to do vagina steaming i've already made a video on how to do vagina vagina steaming you use warm water not hot water hot water will go there and finish those beautiful microorganisms that helps you okay so that is why most women say they don't even have any cervical mucus as a woman if you have cervical mucus it's good there's no problem it means those things are healthy but when it's smelling that's when there's a problem but if it does not smell it smells according to each circle there are times when your period is about to come or is finishing that's when you will notice some funny smell but it's not too much to be smelling almost like your period okay so you see 
these things will make you always dry. If you want to be pregnant, um, if you want to get wet, I've done a video for people on menopause. Clothes also help you, but don't use it to wash your vagina. And I'm yet to make a video on how to use clothes to get wet. But before that, don't use it to clean. Don't use it to wash that place. Don't use anything, yoni pills, anything inside. Leave it. So just use water and mild soap. You must use mild soap. It can be your baby soap. I hope this video has made you happy. Let me know if you have questions. I love you.